Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Back in August this year, we have reported that the deal for AK203 has been cleared from Indian and Russian side. However, it's yet to be officially inked and the update is that it will still take a couple of months for it. Ironically, the OFB's Amity factory was inaugurated back in 2019 and yet to start the production. As per the latest update, the production is expected to commence only in next year. The deal was not progressing due to heavy demand of royalty by Russia, to be precise, 200 US dollars per rifle. Now, as we all know, that as part of this deal, nearly 6.5 lakhs rifle would be manufactured in India. So, this royalty would have cost somewhere near to 1.3 billion dollars to India. Back in August, Russia has agreed for complete TOT for the manufacturing with no royalty, which has further paved the way for this deal to progress. As we all know, that OFP has been dissolved into seven PSUs recently. However, it's being reported that this will not have any impact on the manufacturing of the rifle. Previously, there was a joint venture company named Indo-Russia Rifles Private Limited, which was established between OFP Klasnikov Concern and Rossborn Export having a stake of 50.5%, 42% and 7.5% respectively. Talking about AK203, it uses 7.62 into 39mm caliber bullet having 7.62mm bore and 39mm case length. It can fire 600 rounds per minute and has an effective range of 500 meters. It is a gas operated rotating bolt rifle. One more important thing to note about this steel is that AK203 which is being projected or the pictures of AK203 being circulated is not the same which is going to be manufactured. Many advanced features such as Picatinny rail over handguard, adjustable buttstock and a better fire selector is not present in the Indian AK203 version which means Russia is selling AK-103M an older version of AK series rifle in the name of AK203. However, it is still better than less lethal in SAS rounds. Once the contract is signed for this deal, it will further take 32 months for the complete transfer of technology. Each AK203 rifle developed indigenously will cost close to 70,000 rupees per piece. AK203 is no doubt a very level platform and Indian Armed Forces needs this very badly as NSAS, which is widely used by our armed forces, is heavily outdated in the present day battle and counter insurgency scenario. While this deal is yet to fortify, Indian Army should start exploring and engaging with S defense for testing of the P-72 family of rifles. The P-72 is actually much more advanced than AK-203 when we compare their design, which is based more on Western assault rifles such as ACR, FN SCAR and Czech CZ Brent 2 family. The only reason that we can possibly think of Army not procuring P-72 assault rifle is still not tested enough and is a non-proven platform. However, if India has to become self-reliant in small arms manufacturing, it needs to induct such rifles in small quantity and help the companies to further improve their qualities by proper feedback channel. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.